Let's get more now on the possible appointment of Antonio Guterres as the next UN Secretary General. We can speak to Mona Khalil, who joins us from the UN. She is a former senior legal officer with the United Nations. Thanks very much for speaking to us. Um, and I say possible appointment, but I think it's almost a near certainty now um, that Antonio Guterres will take over the role. And of course, there had been expectations and hopes for the first woman UN chief, perhaps even uh, an Eastern European. Moscow is pushing for that. What are your thoughts on the appointment of Antonio Antonio Guterres. It's a pleasure to be with you today on, on what I consider to be a very happy day. Um, we have all looked with great uh, expectation and great trepidation at the process in the Security Council, hoping that the Council will take a decision that reflects our highest aspirations and not their least common denominator. I would say they have done us proud. They have uh, selected a candidate that embodies all of the necessary qualities to lead the Secretariat and hopefully the world to a better day. We are facing many critical challenges and I believe that Mr. Gutierrez embodies all the necessary qualities, being competence, conviction, courage, communication skills and charisma. Uh, and there is, of course, we had reached, it was a, an important stage in the process, but perhaps uh, there hadn't been an expectation that there would be an agreement uh, at this point in time. Uh, we, we do have one. What, what, are you, what are your thoughts on the possibility of closed-door deals? Would Russia and China perhaps have been uh, promised key UN posts in return for supporting this selection? Well, that would be consistent with the historical record. All P5 members have been... Uh guilty of imposing their will with regard to the selection and appointment of the senior leadership of the organization. I hope that Mr. Gutierrez and the P5 heed the warnings of the General Assembly that they will look to a day when national ownership of posts is no longer a consideration, that the selections are made based on merit, relevant experience, and competence and ability to lead. We are facing too many critical challenges, climate change, massive atrocities across the globe, in particular in Middle East and Africa. We need the most effective and capable leaders at all relevant posts. And of course, you mentioned the challenges facing the United Nations and the global community right now. He, Guterres, is going to inherit a Security Council with an ever-deepening schism between the permanent members, uh, which some, some see the, the unlocking uh, of that as being key to sort of alleviating many global crises in the world today. How is he going to perhaps approach or manage these divisions? Well, based on the tremendous strength and independence that he exhibited in the hearings, and we are all grateful to the General Assembly and President Likatoft for having arranged those hearings in such a transparent way that revealed the qualities and characteristics of the intended candidates. Um, based on, on the uh, performance there, one would hope that he does have the courage of conviction to stand up for what is right uh, on behalf of the human rights of all peoples of the world, including standing up to, the, to those who either shield those responsible for mass atrocities and those responsible for mass atrocities and bring those to an end. He is, of course, unable to enforce any such appeal, but he will hopefully raise that voice loudly and clearly, demanding that the Security Council live up to its responsibility. We forget that the Charter does not accord powers to the Council, but responsibilities to the Council. And it is time that the Secretary General and the General Assembly both called upon the Council to effectively and promptly address the lingering conflicts and the mass atrocities that are plaguing the world. Thank you very much. Good to get your thoughts on this story. Mona Khalil joining us live from the United Nations, a former senior legal officer with the UN. Thank you, ma'am. And on behalf of Independent Diplomat, I'm very grateful.